Hey everyone, it's Friday and we thought we'd put up another Revelation chat and hopefully on a Friday just something a bit more light-hearted to think about, although the subject matter isn't something to be laughed at, it's about staying within the bounds of scripture. Yeah. Uh, but what we're going to see is if you go outside the bounds of scripture, you're going to get laughed at. I guess is what we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna see yeah, here, yeah. and 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 sometimes it's sometimes it's really sad, yeah. But sometimes it is, it's, it's worth having a laugh, That's isn't it? Because it's funny. Um, just a little book on, well, not a little book. It's huge. No, it's book. The, the promise of the future, Cornelius Venema, um, uh, published by Banner of Truth. Just very helpful in the introduction. Um, the most important rule believers must observe is to stay within the boundaries of God's word, the Scriptures. Much of the confusion and uncertainty that abounds on this subject nowadays is due to a failure to abide by this rule. So he's particularly talking about the end times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Failure to stay yeah. within the bounds of scripture. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of controversy, a lot of silliness um, comes from yeah bringing a whole load of other stuff in. Uh, he, he says, um, we need to listen carefully to the word of God, taking notice of what it promises regarding the future and disciplining ourselves not to go beyond what it warrants it is the only safe course available to us in this otherwise confused and disputed terrain um 1 corinthians 4 verse 6 is basically basically saying yeah don't go beyond what is written i'm sure it's 1 corinthians 4 verse 6 (laughs) um but it, it um just to illustrate what happens when you start um allowing for world events yeah. to dictate or 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 modern political movements that 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 re, you know cause us to reinterpret the scriptures or uh, uh, even a modern like modern discoveries like you know some people will be like well why do we need to read genesis yeah. like the well, creation it's, account it's, it's where do you stop where do you let the the interpretation of scripture to be controlled by, by outside of itself cultural things yeah. like outside of itself yeah. so babylon b an amusing it's satire it's 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 sometimes a little bit naughty but yeah that's why we like that's it. That's why we like it. Um, but uh, it off, you know, it's making a sensible point. But it was just after the Brexit thing, uh, the Brexit vote on Friday morning. They published this thing: um, as Great Britain voted in favour of a motion to leave the European Union, some Christians around the world held emergency meetings Friday morning, frantically adjusting their prophetic charts to include the completely unanticipated <laughs> new development. Um, and it goes on to say, we had previously thought that it might be Saddam Hussein who would us- usher in the one world government, but that's looking less likely now. Yeah, now uh, that he's, you know, he's, um, um, dead. dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're going to make some official adjustments. Um, it just illustrates the point. That it's, it, um, it's poking fun, isn't it? And again, we should be, we are sad that people make these mistakes, but also we have to laugh at them. We have to laugh at these yeah. mistakes, these things that Christians do. Humour is a great thing, isn't it? It's great. God yeah. has made us. Jesus to used it a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Paul. Um, yeah, so good to have a laugh, but, you know, as long as we're kind of getting to the serious point yeah. underneath it, um, which is let's not, let's not get distracted and let's just keep focused That's on the it. main thing, keep the main yeah. thing the main thing. We're looking for Jesus to comfort the church. Yeah. That's what Revelation's about during, like, tumultuous times. Yeah. Of, and actually, it's interesting, isn't it? Because throughout history wherever there's been tumultuous happenings people have got like really obsessed with nailing specifics yeah. particularly in revelation and i think it's looking for that comfort that this is happening and and, and it was predicted and and you know yeah but it's looking for so comfort comes from in the wrong place, place. absolutely yeah, yeah. but it just gets it wrong and yeah. i think the article um is is pointing is laughing at the fact that of course it's ridiculous to be that precise and that's mm. that's the thing there's a really helpful thing which is a chat because the bible isn't that precise exactly uh, you know, and that's what we're talking about is yeah. it going beyond yeah. the bounds of scripture exactly. if scripture hasn't told us that this is that then let's not be too yes. dogmatic about it absolutely until it's happened yeah yeah um a chap called gabriel i'm not gonna try and pronounce his second name because I'll, I'll get it wrong and, and look an idiot more so than usual but he says something very helpful <laughs> He says, um, Christian eschatology is not secular forecasting, but the futurology of the world to come. That's not a real word. I don't think it is a real word. (laughs) Futurology? It might be. Uh, It it might be. be. He's he's cleverer than I am. Let's invent a new discipline. Futurology. Futurology. (laughs) But he goes on to say, um, while these exuberant scenarios provide material for the armchair speculations and sometimes 
frenzied imagination so popular in times of travail in human history, Christian thought about the end has in the main chosen to be reserved about the details, focusing rather on the centralities of resurrection, return, judgment and eternal life. And that's just, it, it's so it's helpful, really isn't helpful. it? That Because yeah. um, these these pi pictures we see in Revelation, they are fantastic and, yeah, and it's exciting. exciting. It is exciting it is to exciting. read it, isn't it? Yeah. He, and just one more thing he says talking about the cent central things of, of the return of Christ the resurrection last judgment he calls these the kernel with a K mm. not yeah. the kernel <laughs> the kernel <laughs> yeah. of Christian teaching yeah. and he says the kernel is surrounded by a husk the colour and sheen of this covering have a way of attracting the seeker sometimes causing him or her to settle too quickly for the surface instead of probing to the centre yeah. and that's what we see isn't it yeah. people get excited by these colourful images um, and they miss what actually is the central yeah. seed. What is the point being made yeah. by this particular piece of writing rather yeah. than yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Take, and taking that kind of husk analogy when we see, in, in, even in scripture we see images of, of kernels and husks and the husks always get blown away yeah. and if we root our understanding of scripture and of, of the end times on these colourful husks, well to push the analogy a bit far, they'll get blown away by the winds of yeah. time, and time will yeah. show them to be what the, they are. So, so um, this seventeenth century in England, the, the Puritans, um, when when they kind of we had so many Christian MPs in Parliament, a number yeah. of them actually thought, "This is this it. it. This is the New Jerusalem right here." It's like, n no, it's, it's, it's still it's London. London. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, and again, history often proves that these statements were just a bit yeah. silly. And there's lessons from history, isn't there? Because you know, we have to be careful. About what what is it we want? Do we really want all our MPs to be Christians? That won't be a bad thing. But what we really want is Christ to return. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and that's what that's the great hope, isn't it? Yeah. Because and and like no matter what position somebody takes, whether they're a mill, post mill, pre mill, or pan mill, or pan out in the end. Um, <laughs> I was like that so, one. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Actually, whatever the view, when we when we come to be face to face with Jesus, yeah. we're not going to be disappointed. We're not. We're not going to be disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's the really helpful thing to go into the weekend with. Yeah. yeah. Nice one. Have a good weekend. We'll see you on Sunday. <laughs>